Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make guaranteed coins in Ultimate Team. I'm also going to cover a few kind of risky rerolls that can turn out to major profit, as well as at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about a method that can literally get you banned and why or why not you shouldn't be doing it. Many of these methods we have talked about, by the way, so I'm going to be repeating them, but we're going to get through this part of the video fast so we can get in those bigger, profitable, but more risky coin methods. So the first one that I'm going to talk about here is I talked about it a long time, like a couple weeks ago, but it still works tremendously well. It's the 84 team builder set. Now, as you guys can see, they're only selling for around like 10k, right? But if we go to some popular theme teams as well, some decent like 84 players that people want, we can kind of filter it down as Broncos is getting more popular. As you guys can see, Cortland Sutton and Shamar, he is selling for 20k. So if we go and look at how to complete the set, it's very cheap and we're able to make a lot of profit off of this. So what you need for this set is three 80s and then three 75 to 79s. Well, not necessarily 80s, but 80s to 82s. So what I do is I set to 80 to 81, and then I go through Superstar, and then I also switch it over to Most Feared. These two filters can sometimes pop up with cards, and then I also switch it to 82 to 83, but make sure when you switch it to 82, 83, that you are only buying 82 cards, because that's obviously what you need for the set. We're looking for cards under 3K. So yeah, if we're able to get one for 3k here, we're obviously going to go ahead and pick it up, but I've already done this set many times. You're able to get these for 3k super easily. And then for 75 to 79s, these are very easy to get. You want to get these for under 1,000, as you guys can see right there, 750. That's been up for 21 minutes. I'm not doing the set right now because I'm actually waiting for one of the players to sell, and I don't like to stack up then more than two of them at a time. So yeah, as you guys can see, get these for under a thousand you can try to get them under like 700 but we're, what you're really looking for is to complete the set for under 12k which you're able to do if you get the golds for under a thousand and get the elites for under 3000 so the next safe and tried and true method that always works and always makes you little bits of coins at a time is the playbook method i think everybody kind of knows what i'm talking about when i say this but you're just going to go base offensive pack here and you're going to obviously open it up and i like to pick offensive packs because they actually sell quicker as well as i like pick, picking popular playbooks so they sell even quicker as well as they usually have a little bit extra value so the training for this is 150 as you guys can see we can go here click auction these are selling for 3,000 very easily i'm gonna go ahead and put this up for 2,950 and if you guys take the 150 training multiplied by the coins per training point value recently that's gonna equal around 1,200 if you take 1,200 away from 2,900 that's about 1,500 to 1,700 profit so the last kind of obviously profit method that's kind of pretty well known is get a player pack method. Basically all you do is open this pack, you take the card and you sell it back. But yeah, you can either sell these right back right away. Uh, I think this is going for a little bit more due to theme teams purposes, but yeah. Those cards either sell for a lot, they sell for a little. There's other ways you can do it, like do exchange sets. But when I go ahead and do this, I usually just sell the card right back. So yeah, let's get into some large profit, high risk um, rerolls, as well as we're also going to be talking about a coin method that gets you banned and why you, you should do it and why you shouldn't do it. So the first reroll I want to cover here is the bow nose. This is really pretty common. It's been being used recently and the prices didn't drop tremendously when that blitz offer came out. So it still does work. I don't really recommend doing it. Obviously, if it's your coins, you do what you want with them. It's very risky. You can end up losing 100K, but who knows? Maybe you could profit 500K. It's just the odds on it, I think is one and 30. I heard that somewhere, I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's very rare to pull one of those cards, but you could pull two to three in a row. Like I said, super rare, but it could end up happening to you. So you can try and do that. Um, if you're trying to do the training for it, what I'd honestly recommend is just going to the 94 and then set it to Bo's nose. And I'd honestly just buy a Bo nose player and then use that training on the reroll. 163 is actually a pretty good price. I'm not gonna take it, but yeah, like I said, I would probably use the bow nose that way of the exact amount of training. If you pull a player, then you can sell the uh, 85 as it back. Um, if you do end up pulling a 94. So yeah, if I'm going to do training, I'm going to do that. You can obviously do the cheapest training, but yeah, that's a bow nose reroll for you. All right. So the next reroll here is actually kind of secret. Um, I don't think many people really talk about this. And that's the 83 to 90 reroll. Um, the thing with this reroll here is that it's pretty cheap to do, but you can really hit some big profit. Now, I did the math on this, and I was actually doing this yesterday. Assuming these players are the same price. If they aren't, it can still work. But as you guys can see, 90s are 50k, and 87s, hopefully they still have high value as well. 87s have dropped down in price to 30 to 34k, so it has been nerfed a lot because these used to be 50k. But 
if you guys want to hear me out for a second, that you guys can do this next team of the week drop and it actually worked out perfectly. So I did the math here and assuming you get 80 to 82s for 3k a piece, that's 9k and then you get an 83 to 84 for around 4 to 5k, that's about 14k, 13k range and that's very easy to do. Now, 13 to 14k for this pack and you have the ability to pull one of these three players and when these 87s first came out they were selling for 50k as long as the 90s for 50k so you were able to do the set close to four times and all you had to do was pull 190 or 187 and you ended up profiting you can obviously try that now if you really want to, but the 87s will not even make you break even. You essentially have to pull either two 87s or 190 now. But wait for the next Team of the Week drop. You can test this method out again, and it'll probably work the same way that this one did. So as I check mutt.gg right now, the coins to training point value is 8, and that's going to come into handy with this next reroll. So as we go to this reroll right here, this veteran's reroll is 10,200 to do. And as I said earlier, that coins per training point value is eight. So essentially, when we pull this, we need to pull a card for higher than 81,000 coins to end up profiting. So going over to the veterans here, which is the reroll that we would be doing to do this method, is uh, pulling a 91, the least expensive is 67k. Obviously, that is losing you coins when you pull that card. All these 91s are losing you coins, but it's only around 10 to 20k each time you get one of these bad cards. But hey, you could pull even a map Raider, and that's close to breaking even. So there's a lot of 91s that you could pull that could lose you coins, but there are also a lot of 92 to 93s in this reroll that's obviously going to make you lose loads. Cole Beasley's profit, Levante David's profit, Tyson Awalu's profit, Teddy Bridgewater's pretty big profit, Kyle Rudolph is big profit, Carlos Dunlap doubles your coins I think. So like I said, these this is a pretty good reroll to do. All you have to do is pull a card that goes over for 81 uh, co 81,000 coins, assuming you're buying training at the eight coins per training point value. So here, like I promised, I'm gonna be going over the coin method that could literally get you banned if you do it. And I'm gonna talk about why you shouldn't do it. I'm really gonna strongly advise you guys not to do this. If you guys have not heard already, if you, if you played last year's game, the coin bot glitch is back, or it's been back for a while, I think, but I've just seen tons of people talking about it, and there's a lot of misconceptions about this, and I do have experience with it. All right, boys, so why I'm in the head-to-head -head leaderboard is I can't really go into my seasons menu but basically what this method is is you essentially quit out of 100 to 120 games and then you start playing bots and so if you keep your win loss record to the point where you have 100 more losses than your wins you keep playing bots so you leave games and then you like play games and then you make coins over time but the thing that a lot of youtubers talk about when they talk about this method is there is a big chance you're gonna get banned and you might be saying i haven't got banned i've been doing it or i've heard like 500 people do it and then none of them got banned I got banned last year doing this method and that is why I'm not doing the method this year is because it will get you banned at a higher chance. The more you do it, the more coins you make, the more coins you have to transfer over to your main account, you will get banned. The last thing that you want to be doing in Madden is getting banned and they actually console banned me last year. So do not do this method. It will have a high chance of getting you banned. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. See y'all later. Peace out.